You cannot say thank you, Jesus, and you'll be tired. Say thank you, Jesus. Father, we honor you tonight. We give you praise. We bless you from the bowels of our spirit. You are good. You are kind. You are faithful. We judge you holy. We judge you mighty. Talab, your way. Balu for Moga Jan Walakbara. Ukbe Monija Keru Bonija. You are our savior. You are our redeemer. You are our helper. Whatever you are, can you lift up your two hands above your head and worship him tonight? Let's bless him. Let's give him praise. Father, we give you praise. Come on, say sweet things to Jesus. Can we pray in tongues in this house? Come on, come on. Let's blast in the Holy Ghost for the next one minute. Rapasati le pranamanzo prede de de baradas. Repate lo sapre di akarabana mansi provelinas. Embakapabantunge pele de be de banta kapala davas. This is the life that we carry. Come on, come on. I can only hear the voices of the choir. Come on. Everybody, let's blast in the Holy Ghost in this house. Shabada balada baraka parada barada baladas. Rebeke de bele de bele de bele de gade bele de bele da. Jaga de bele de bele de gade bele de bele. In the speaker in tongue, leave the realms of mortal. Shabe me manta parakia da baradas. In the speaker in an unknown tongue, I'll be the speaker unto God and not unto man. For he speaketh mysteries. He speaketh mysteries. Come on, come on. Can you utter mysteries from the boys of your spirit? Lift up your voice and chant. Lift up your voice and roar in the spirit. We charge up this atmosphere. Tonight we are dealing with the anointing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 30 more seconds. Blast on the Holy Ghost. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 17. The Bible says, Now to the king who is eternal. Mm -hmm. And forever you are called. Three more times. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. Hallelujah. And forever you are called. Anything burning with mullet, and can you listen? We bless you, Lord, you are holy. Hallelujah. And forever you are God. Along to Palafan, we bless you, Lord, you are holy. Hallelujah. And forever you are God. Can we just close our eyes and mean what we are saying? We bless you, Lord, you are holy. <laughs> and forever you are God. If we journey with the angels, we'll sing better. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. See anything you cool I like? And forever you are God. And forever you are God. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. Holy Lord. And forever you are God. There's this part I like. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. chapter 10 verse 38 the bible says our god anointed jesus christ with the holy ghost and power isaiah 61 verse 1 the spirit of the lord god is upon me 
for he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 and in that day the yoke shall be taken away from your shoulder and the burden away from your neck because of the anointing We we'll thank God because the Lord has helped us this far. Tonight is another time in His presence. It is another time that we've come to journey with the immortal. It is our year of global relevance, Scott Silver of Christ Chapel International Ministries. You are blessed to be there live with us online as I speak. To all our Facebook audience, we love you, we celebrate you. Please do well to like, comment, and share this broadcast a million times. Every Facebook audience is an evangelist by ordination and by the anointing. So please, the way to do the work of an evangelist is to share a hundred times, share a million times, so that those who are not live with us can have opportunity to rewatch this broadcast by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are watching via YouTube, Mercy Monday TV is the channel. Mercy Monday TV. If today is your first time on YouTube, I beg you, subscribe, so that you can get notified the SAP whenever we're live on this channel. And you have been doing good. I must say to all YouTube audience, you are doing well. Please, you remember that we have a quest to get to 200,000 subscribers before June 2024. The Bible says, it called those things that be not as though they were. All right? We are live on MixLR. MixLR is an audio radio where you can hear us expressly without watching us. Perhaps you are busy, you are in your office, you are driving, or you are in your kitchen cooking something, something. Download MixLR from Play Store. Search out Messi Monday. You will catch us live and direct as I speak. We are also live on Spotify. We have two dimensions of Spotify, Messi Monday English and mercy mandate your robot it's more anyway if you don't understand english we have the details staying glued to your screen go through them for your convenience and for your blessing also we have our app beautiful app we have our website www.loccim.org www.loccim.org and also you can get our daily devotional whatsapp prayers on our website so in case our managers are not getting it to you in time just go to our website asap you'll get it live and direct tonight please tell us the country you are connected from i beg you by the message of the lord jesus christ tell us the country you are connected from i am watching from canada from france from dubai from london from uk from australia from usa from mozambique from toronto type it i'm watching from lagos via support called joss enoko kaduna castina wherever wherever even here in lagos just type it i'm watching from social part of the state so we can know where and where our families are connected all over the globe and also, if you're not aware, I don't think it is too late because with God, there is nothing impossible. Our Father and the Lord instructed from day one of this meeting that we should write out five prayer requests we trust God only His message can give to us. So please type it out in the comment section. Type out five prayer requests we trust God that only His message can give to you. And also, you can bring out your journal, write out five prayer requests, and table it before God every night. And because this month is special to us, why? This is the month. That is marking the best month of our Father and the Lord. Can we celebrate Jesus in this house? Come on, Hallelujah. come on. I can't wait to celebrate my daddy. And also, let me announce this. I will do that till we get to the day. On the 28th of March, the information is on your screen. Come on, beautiful, beautiful and, and powerful and spiritual. If you are led, you will know it's spiritual. On the 28th of March, by 11 p.m., we are having a white worship and praise festival breaking into the birthday of our father and the lord so please we are not going to be starting 12 a.m as we do in the usual time 11 p.m we are kick-starting we are going to be worshiping praising dancing shouting hallelujah giving god praise and we'll break into his birthday and i believe the first word from his mouth is going to be the prophetic so we want to bring praises we want to praise enter we want to praise jumping we want to praise allah we want to praise forward so this is the dimension we are taking in and everybody that day Wherever you are connected all over the globe, be on white, no matter what, there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. That is the heavenly worship dimension we are provoking that day. So it is a white worship on the 28th of March. Please don't forget, I beg you. And also I said, I released the song the last year titled Praise Breakout Medley. It's a medley of praises that is unto God, giving God praise by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, by his mercies to my daddy. In pidgin language, now my papa, they do birthday. So I will, by his grace, be officially dedicating that song. It's on Audiomark, Boomplay, Spotify, iTunes. You can check it out, Praise Breakout. 
I'll be able to say, singing the song from back to back, dedicating it to my father and the Lord, Prophet Peter Adeni Oluwo Parakuba, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And also, please, if you are not following our father and the Lord on Instagram, it is not too late. P A Oluwo Paraku is the handle. Go to your Instagram, follow now so that you can get updated about the ministry and also updated about every other Aljuchi's movement we have in 2024. Praise God. It is our culture to give God praise, to tell him thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Yoruba will say, And we have a watchword in 2024. To be thankful is to be Godful. Studio, can we echo it one more time? To be thankful is to be Godful. You can only be full of God if you're a thanksgiver. Join me, welcome, and celebrate Minister David to take us on worship. And praise tonight. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. To him alone that is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Wave those beautiful hands to the most high God. The I am that I am. The one the words that he is and shall be. The God that has no beginning. The God that has no end. All of your knee better. They will my new pain. Pare pare ola pere kete yo koni nu oko elaro ni niye apa mo ba kabi si olodu mari arik ba mo chi chi olodu mari kiki da bara kiki da wura alaba inu kogba yesasi oramo lojo wole jomani harubo dani let's put those hands to him the Bible says I will enter into his cage with thanks given in my heart worship God from the bottom of your heart this morning. We worship you, most high God. We reference you, I am that I am. Thank you, Jesus. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Jesus, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are called all by your soul. You are God. Oh. 
Put our hands together. The more you clap your hand, the more is the grace of God upon your life tonight. I said, the more you clap your hand, the more the oil, the anointing will rise upon you and your family. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are worshipped. Greet somebody say you are welcome to another opportunity in the presence of God. You are welcome to another opportunity. Tell that sister you now go home empty-handed tonight. Tell that sisters, God will move in his power tonight. God will not pass you by. God will move in his power tonight. God will not pass you by. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall the enemy hurt us. The anointing oil, symbol of power of God. Symbol of the presence of God and symbol of healing and consecration unto God. So we are going to pray tonight. I want you to lift your two hands to God. Say, Father, Father by, your power, by your power, say by your power, by your power I, receive mercy, I receive mercy. I receive mercy, I receive mercy into, my into my family in the name of Jesus. Name go, of ahead, Jesus. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and pray that prayer. I receive mercy. I receive mercy into my family from tonight henceforth. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Oh, power that can never be insulted by the enemy. In your mercy, I receive it tonight into my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive that power in Jesus' name. Say it louder. Amen. Amen. There's somebody watching me. Your life will never remain the same. Amen. I say your family will never remain the same. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say, Father, Father through, your tonight, through your presence tonight, in my life, in my, life, in my, family, in my family, in my career, in my career after today impartation, enemy that need to die, that need to die for, my for my life to move forward, for my family to shine, for our glory to shine. Die! In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Oh, Father, through your presence in my life tonight, through your presence in my family, in my career, after today's impartation, enemy that need to die for the glory of God to shine in my family, let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. And finally, say, Father, in your power, owner of evil load, in my life, in my family, in my career, carry your love. Pray that prayer. Oh, somebody is not praying. That family, that, family. that sister, pray. That mommy, pray, pray, pray. Father, in your power tonight. Oh, no, people load in my family, in my family, in my career. Carry your load now. Carry your load now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Do you know what will happen tonight? What is not enough after the impartation and the touch of family tonight shall be more than enough. Amen. Everything God created shall work in our favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see a family, you will sing a new song. Amen. You will dance a new dance. Amen. You will rejoice evermore. Amen. You will celebrate. Amen. You will laugh. Amen. You shall be congratulated. Amen. If your amen can be seven, we'll receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I see Tongba Dwat Deswaju. Jeremiah 30, verse 8. You wait, Jeremiah 30, verse 8. You see, Senior your journal. Ni Olua and one more gooey. Tell me, oh, ja, a jagakuro, ni orun re, a tea day, a jasso for long, 
Boluwa, Boluwa, ni pa ifa mi royan, ajaga dile baba mi, ajaga dile baba mi, Oluwa gbe ku Olorun mi, Oluwa gbe ku Olorun mi, ajaga dile baba mi ti e je won lo, ajaga dile baba mi ti e je ki won je yan, Oluwa gbe ku Olorun mi loruko Jesu, adura, e mi mi mo, oya gbe ku Olorun nu mi, ajaga dile baba mi ti e je ki won lo, ti e je ki won je yan, loruko Jesu ni pa se fami royan oluwa gbe ku olorun mi ni oruko jesus oluwa gbe ku olorun mi ajaga ti e je won olorun dile baba mi lo oruko jesus oluwa gbe ku olorun mi oluwa gbe ku olorun mi jesus oluwa wa amen e ja gbadura keji baba mi baba mi o ni pa fami royan idi eru lara mi lo oruko jesus o ya ja idi eru lara mi lo oruko jesus Jesus, oh yeah, Jah, Adura, Baba, me, Baba, me, oh, me, pass it from your own hand. It is your own hand. Come on, yeah, me, man, let your gen law. Oh yeah, Jah, oh yeah, Jah, oh yeah, Jah. It is your own hand. Let me your gen to buy it. No, look at Jesus. Oh yeah, Jah, then. Oh yeah, Jah. 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 Baba mi baba mi o Ifa mi oro yan fun serere Ma pa lori mi Baba mi baba mi o Ifa mi oro yan fun serere Oluwa dalu mi lori Ni oruko Jesu Adura Baba mi baba mi o Ifa mi oro yan fun serere laye Ma pa lori mi Ma pa lori mi Oruko Jesu Ma pa lori mi Ifa mi oro yan fun serere Thank you. Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Amen. We are dealing with the anointing hoy tonight, and I quickly want to read for her from the book of First Samuel chapter sixteen. First Samuel chapter sixteen, starting from verse eleven to verse thirteen. Media, if you can help me with this quickly. First Samuel chapter sixteen, starting from verse eleven to verse thirteen. Now the Bible was speaking here. First Samuel chapter 16, 11 to 13. Now it said, And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are he all your children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he kept the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Stand and fetch him, for we will not sit down until he become either. Verse 12. And he sent and brought him in. And when, and now he was ready. Okay, thank you. And with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him, for it, this is he. Verse, verse 13. We are going to stop. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Can we complete the next thing that come after it? Want to go? And, and the, the spirit, spirit of the Lord, Lord came upon David, David from that, that day forward. forward. So actually, Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Now the Bible said from that day forward, the spirit of the Lord came upon Samuel from that day forward. So actually what the Lord put upon David was something that David needed. And when you now go to the book of Acts chapter 13, the Bible now began to tell us that and David served his generation according to the will of the Lord. So there is an oil that you need to serve the will of the Lord in your generation. There is a problem that you are created to solve. But you need the oil to serve the Lord, to fulfill destiny in the way that God has ordained you to fulfill destiny. Can you cry after me? Oil to fulfill destiny. Oil to fulfill destiny. Possess me tonight. Me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Name of Can Jesus. you open your mouth and fire your prayer? Zatetosko palasetai. Zikopanachata libranhandi. Zebrakatata libanatoa. Adwachetanike manatai. Come upon me mightily. Come upon me. Mightily, come upon me mightily, Azakatai, Zambohandi, Zambohandi, Aquacha, Aquacha, Yakwa, Akomu, Azakatana Brahandi, Aragaba Shetadai. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? There is a prophecy. 
generation that you will not be a failure, that you will not fail God in your generation. Angelia, no Orilicia, 
by mercy. Nipa anu ororo lati dide oya gba. Amen. O ti ri be. Amen. Jesus. Oluwa wa. Amen. Ani ororo ma po lori mi. O. Ororo ma po lori mi. Iyo. Ororo tutun lati dide laye. Ororo tutun lati rogo lo. Ororo ma po lori mi. Iyo. Oya. Ororo ma po lori mi. Iyo. Ye. Ororo ma po lori mi. Iyo. Ye. Ororo tutun. Lati di de la ye ah ororo tutun lati rogo lo ororo ma bo lori mi o je ko wo re ma du ororo oluwa ba je mu anu lo sise aye re fe di de aye omo fe di de ye aye aya fe di de Ipe refe di de, ogo refe di de, ipe ya wo refe di de, boti ta koko fun o, di de wo lo de o, de no a jaga wo lo wa, ma ja mu ti de, oni lo ma abo, oni lo mo ma abo, amen, oni la ya ma abo, amen, oni lo ko ma abo, amen, di she re ma abo, amen. Shout him and be exalted in the name of Amen. Jesus. In this encounter of tonight, let somebody be visited. Amen. Strange yoke over your life shall be broken. Amen. Invisible limitation shall be destroyed. Amen. Strange arrow shot into your destiny, it shall backfire. Amen. Every invisible wall standing between you and your major breakthrough, they shall collapse here. Amen. This is the night of the anointing. By the anointing, this yoke shall be broken. Amen. Somebody give him a worship all over the world. Hallelujah. Celebrate the king. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus. Mighty name we worship. Amen. Please, let's have from the uh, call center quickly. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. On Thursday is another day with the prophet at the call center. So get yourself prepared. Nigeria will be from 12 to 2 p.m. in the in the afternoon, and for the diaspora will be at uh, 2 p.m. 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, that will be 
deserve celebration. So they'll be lucky to say happy birthday to Papa. Wow. <laughs> so get yourself prepared that day to say happy birthday to him. Let's listen to these two wonderful testimony uh, from one of our daddy in Akure um, said his name is Olubenga Umano and they were talking about uh, his son. Uh, Joseph Adiola was denied visa to Canada in February this year and has sent his credential to a brother, professor in China after seeing his BSc Greek economics, second class upper. Division 2 1, you know, Babekita, MS, MSc at Greek Economics, Peter Akure. We don't ask him to commence his PhD proposal for him to be taken as an assistant lecturer, to be sponsored by his colleague, a professor in science for three years program. This is good news of Covenant of Mercy. Praise the Lord. Uh, our sister from Ibadan said, Good morning, sir. Please, sir, I'm giving my testimony today through your WhatsApp number. Because the network in my working place is not good. So I want to give glory to God for my promotion letter that was given to me today. That was last Thursday after the prophet prayed on our phone. I received a call from my headquarters to come and collect my promotion letter. Hallelujah. I've been praying for since last year, January, and now I've collected it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Don't think he's far away. He's not seriously far away. Uh, begin to pay. People have been paying. And uh, people have been sponsoring pastors, ministers in our midst. So they have been saying, uh, don't forget my bishop. Don't forget my doctor. Uh, we appreciate yesterday our mother, Olubogi, that sent some uh, seat to the choir to to our ministers here. So you can still do the same thing for our minister, sponsor a lot of them. Last year uh, in, Port in River State, somebody sponsored 100 people. So you can still do that. You can sponsor a lot of our choir. They, are, they want to sing in Jordan. Abby? Yes, sir. <laughs> So please do so. And let me mention a few uh, sites you visit there. You visit Mount Nebo, Jabok River, Gadara, where Jesus healed it and delivered the man with unclean spirit. Then River Jordan, the site, the site of Jesus' baptism. Uh, you too can be baptized there. So another heaven will be open unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the Red Sea is there. Then the Red Rose City of Petra. The Mashra Mecca, known as Castle of Gallo, due to the due to the fact that John the Baptist was behind there. Uh, I told you sometimes ago that one of uh, my secretary in my group has a pain in his leg. And he thought it would be difficult for him to climb that mountain, but he, he forced himself to go there. And uh, at the end of the day, up to now, that pain is done forever. So Amen. your miracle is next in the name of Jesus. Amen. Dead Sea. Uh, you cannot afford to meet Dead Sea. A lot of people, it's a, it's a healing sea. So if you are rheumatized or anything, just bath yourself in that river, and it's done forever. Amen. So we are expecting you to call me on this number 0060179290. I repeat again, 0060179290. You can send me a text on the WhatsApp number, then I'll forward all these things to you to see. Uh, help us contact other people. One of our mother in Manchester is helping us to contact people. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, tonight again, in our midst, we have a Christ Light School from Shogole. The students are here Hallelujah. for three days.
They came for a retreat. They are the finalists in their school SS3. They want mercy to speak for their exams. So they come to speak, uh, to seek the face of God. Uh, they have been with us at the mercy brand this evening. You know, they have a lot of program again uh, this morning uh, at the mercy camp. And look at their anchor said, training global champions for God and the nation. I repeat again, training global champions for God and the nation. Why won't they come to seek the face of God? At the time, our deal will call them to come and render their rendition. They are ready to give us a rendition. And maybe we should do that within okay. the next seven, and seven Let the student come so that you can come and take your rendition. Come over to the to the floor of the house. Let, 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 no, let, them, use let, let, let them use the choir stand. Let them use the choir stand while the the leader come and take the mic here. God bless you as you do so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you so much, yes, sir. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir, for having us. We are so grateful. God bless you, sir. God bless the ministry. God bless your home. God bless your age. And I pray that this week is your new year. I pray that God will grant you more years to celebrate, to worship him, to serve him, and to be a channel of glory to the global world in the name of Jesus. We do not take this for granted. We are very yes, grateful. And, and I'm one of the alumni of the school. This, wow. this was my foundation. I give glory to God. <laughs> and today, and today I'm a registered nurse. And it's, it's from this foundation. I give God the glory. Hallelujah. And I give all my mommy, my daddy, everyone, the, the whole accolades. God bless you all. Thank you for everyone. And thank you for those that are watching online. God bless you as you connect with this program today. It shall be marvelous for us all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. It's the night of anointing. And we are here to be anointed of your grace. Alabo shatape kato shatabala duski inamalo shatano belehi de adaba askopeli adako shatabali kato ski niyamala alobe akato shatala balendo skopeli naia. Ah, Jesus. Anointing fall upon me. Cover my head to toe. Give me the power to do your will. Oh Lord, I pray. Anointing fall upon me. Cover my head to toe. Give me the power to do your will. Oh Lord, I pray. Give me the power to do your will. Oh Lord, I pray. Anointing. Hey, cover my head to do. Give me the power to do your will. Oh Lord, I pray.
So we let others go. You are free to come to the camp to come and pray. God bless you, really good in Jesus' name. Our prayer for this uh, student and this uh, school is that they will excel. Wisdom for excellence, the Lord will release it on them. Amen. As they seek the face of the Lord, for their coming exams, mercy will speak for them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, immediately after Dr. Sholali will finish, we will take uh, uh, Pastor Louis Pe and uh, Reverend Bashir from First Choir to take us for about seven, seven minutes, mercy will surely be released upon you. Amen. Dr. Shalali, anointing. We so much appreciate you. We'll celebrate. More grace Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I still pray for all our viewers all over the world, wherever you are. Uh, this morning is an important morning, and this is my word of prophecy unto all and sundry. That before the end of this week, your testimony will touch your hands. Amen. That amen can be better. Your testimony will reach out to you. The Bible says in Psalm 89, I have found David my servant. Starting from verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20, they can give us very fast. They are just to mention in Jephil, very fast. Then several strategic points. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. Look at the next verse. With whom my hand shall be established, my hand also shall strengthen him. Look at the next one. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. The Bible says, and I will beat down his foes before his face, and I plague them that eat him. The next one. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and my name shall his hand be exalted. The next one. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. And the last one. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Right from this verse, I want us to quickly select seven things that we should look forward to. An expectation. That you do not need to assist or help what the oil will do. It's an expectation. It's a trust. It's not about so much energy you are going to pull into it. It's not about so much strength you are going to pull into it. This is the fact that anointing oil is an holy oil, not a weak oil, not a desecrated oil, not a flesh oil, not just any oil. It's not the palm oil. It's not the um, yards. It's not the oil you use to fry pepper. It's not the oil you... No, you can't afford to see it from that dimension and command the expected respect. The Bible says it's holy oil. And why is it holy? Because it's a divine ordinance. And divine ordinance can never be terminated by any generational expression. It's a divine ordinance. It cannot be suspended by law. It's a divine ordinance. It cannot be thwarted by human definition. It's a divine ordinance. It means it's constant, it's consistent, it's persistent. It's, 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 it's an established truth. It's a divine instruction. It's an instruction from above. Anything that God has chosen a mixed man and he has visibly, physically represented it in our midst carries the exact strength the Lord demands from it. Carries the exact power the Lord expects from that. So it's a divine instruction. It's a divine mandate. It's pure divine idea. It was not a gender of, my gender of any woman being. And there will be certain reasons this thing will do. We call it unction to function. It's a spiritual lubricant. You cannot step into any office designed by God without it. If not, you will be messed up. If not, you will be disgraced. Just like you need to be equipped effectively, you need to be empowered. You need a skill. You need a knowledge. 
for you to do certain things you want to do here on earth successfully. You cannot carry spiritual work, spiritual assignment with a physical understanding. You cannot carry spiritual assignment without the touch of God. So it's a spiritual lubricant. It's a spiritual consecration. It means you are set apart. And there is a demarcation for that. And oil must come upon you if you want to function in any spiritual offices. So for them to function as a priest, for them to function as a king, for them to function as a priest, they must be anointed. They must be separated. They must be consecrated. They must be designated. So when this comes upon you, it, there is an attribute that God's hand is upon you. So it's an unction to function. Number two, it's an unction for the location to your divine location. There is a location designed for you. There is a position designed for you. There is a seat designed for you. When this oil comes on you, you don't struggle to assume that seat. You don't break your head to assume that seat. You don't cut corner to assume that seat. You don't bribe anybody to assume that seat. You don't need human connection to assume that seat. You don't need skills because what you have skill to do is different from what you are anointed to do. Skill is human acquisitions of knowledge. When you talk in terms of anointing, it's divine enablement, divine power, divine capacity, divine strength. Need. So when, what you are anointed to do is far stronger than what you are skillful in doing. So when you talk in terms of that anointing, we are still talking about a relocation. Some people are eating. They are not visible. Some destinies are eating. They are not visible. You are not different from David that is right now inside jungle. So if God will bring you to your sea, where you command men, where you rule men, where you call the shore, where you become relevant, significant, important, where you command attention, where you command attraction, where you exact influence, where they notice you, when they appear, they rise, when they, you are sitting down, they are still standing up. When they see you, they carry your back, they open the door for you, they dust the seat, they open your office, they say yes sir, they say yes ma. You sit at the back, they drive you. It's a position, it's a seat, and you cannot assume that seat by so much certificates you have acquired. It comes by favor, it comes by mercy, it also comes by unction, it comes by... So if you are going to be relocated, and a Goliath must be pushed down, then unction must come upon your head. And the next one is we see is that with my harm, I will establish him. To be established means that you've come to a level whereby you can never come down. That is me to be established. You are now a fortress. You are now a bulk walk. You are being strengthened. They call them pillar. You can, if you want to destroy pillar, it takes energy, it takes force. Because they are junks that were brought together under force and under pressure with time. So they became solidified. You are a junk rejected by men, rejected by situation and circumstances. Nowhere to be found, a nobody. But God will bring you together. He will amass you together. He will consolidate you. He will press you together. He will use the anointing to anoint you. Then you become a pillar. You become a fortress. You become a bulk work. So it will be difficult for anybody to strangle you or to break you. So he said, I will establish you. I'm telling you, not so many things are established here on earth. And so many things, not so many things has an enduring legacy. But the moment the anointing of God comes upon you, he said, my arm will establish you. My arm will, not man, not money. Money cannot establish anybody. Right. Money cannot establish you. Connection cannot establish you. We have come to faces in life where what we see is highly unstable. The only stability in life is the anointing of God upon your life. Anointing can make you a nobody, you rise. Anointing can make a stranger to even control the sons and the indigents of the land. You bind them at your word. You cast them into prison. You teach them. Anointing can make you to become an authority in the field you know nothing about. That is the power of God. Wisdom will come out of you. Understanding will come out of you. Knowledge will come out of you. The Bible says when Daniel appeared, they all stood up. And one word the woman said, he said, there is only one man in your kingdom who can interpret the writings of God. Not so many people can understand the writings of God. It's so deep. It's so spiritual, they can't discern it, they can't divide it, they can't understand it. But he said, there is a man in your kingdom, an anointed man. The Bible says, in whom dwell God. Light and understanding is within. The Bible says he has the ability and the power to dissolve all doubt. If you want to dissolve doubt, if you want to be filled with wisdom, power, knowledge, and understanding, there is a must and there is a need for this anointing to come upon you. The Bible says, I will strengthen you. 
He said, with this oil, I will strengthen you. You need it. I'm telling you, there is enough stress that if you don't have divine strength, you can't cope with the stress. There is enough. If you are not internally strengthened, you cannot cope with the external stress. There is a dimension of encouragement that does not come from a mortal man. There is a dimension of encouragement that does not come from the economy of the world. There are people with what they have, they are still crying. There are people with what they have, they wish to lose those things, to have those things that you have. Because they have found that life is not classified by those stuff. All I'm saying is this, when it comes to God, there is a dimension of strengthening that you need. Your neighbor, your office, where you are, if you appear too ordinary, you will soon vanish. If you appear too ordinary, you might not fulfill destiny. There is an aspect of you that the world must fear for things to happen. There is an aspect of you that when you come out, they will say, this man is mysterious. You must just, you, they, you must be specific, you must be spectacular. Something different must appear. There must be a touch that no man can understand. There must be your dimension that no man can explain. You simply must appear mysterious for them to give you way. If not, they will block even the ways you have created for yourself. He said, I will strengthen him. I love this one. He said, I will set his hands upon the boundaries of the sea, and he will step his feet upon river. It means that where there is an unction, you are bound for a global manifestation. They can't lock any door against you. You can't carry God and be localized. They will look for you. They must look for you. I'm telling you, the Bible says, right inside Egypt, all the world came to see Joseph. Why? Not, he didn't go to any school. He did not. He, he had no opportunity to go to school, even though he was in a place where school was being celebrated. But he got his own understanding in the prison in slavery. You couldn't have called that one school, but hear what the Pharaoh said. Pharaoh said, who is now wise? Who is discreet except you? It takes anointing for man to see you are the only one discreet. And I'm telling you, anointing does not respect age, it does not respect status, and it does not respect gender. If you have it as at eight, you will rule men. If you have it as at 17, you will control. And God does not respect anybody before he pours anointing on them. After all, David was the youngest, and David was, the, was, not, was not worthy. David was, was taught off to end his life as a farmer, as a shepherd. But when the anointing came upon him, something different rested upon him. I, I love to say this in, in, in a way of rounding things off. It's a practical testimony that I experienced in, in Akure. A woman was selling, they were selling cars. But those cars that he placed, nobody has for you two or three years. So after that morning prayer, he looked at me. He said, uh, nobody was coming to buy cars. This is not Lagos. I said, okay, let's go down. We're getting downstairs. I said, can you select the most expensive car so that we pray about it? He laughed. He said, even the worst one, they are not buying it. <laughs> he said, and you are asking for the most expensive car. So we got downstairs. I saw Millennium 929. That was the first time Millennium 929 was coming out. So it pointed, she pointed out a car that she believed will move with that anointing. I said, why not this one? Aha! So I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, this car you move. As we anoint you today, they will rush you. They will look for you. They will come. Because the woman did not believe she went away. So exactly two hours, buyers came. Wow. And they said they were looking for that car, and they were looking for that particular car. We looked for that woman. We couldn't get the woman. Wow. And they sat down. They, sat they said they will never go. Until we, they looked around. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they could believe we in Coco Marshall. They now said, she the woman will not be they, they said there was a fear in them that fear and fear are the same thing. Fear and fear is the same thing. Fear and fear is the same thing. Fear and fear is the same thing. They slept over in that woman's house ah. over that night. The woman will be watching me now. They slept over in that woman's house. They said, They said, Tell us your price, we will buy it. Wow. When it comes to God, it is the finger of God that cannot be explained. That's the unction of the Lord. Expect it. 
Expect it. Sickness, demons, expect it. They will submit to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. Wow. Wow. Wow, the hoy. God makes you a global phenomenon, a global voice. You can't carry oil and be localized. You are a global voice. Nation is waiting for you. Hey, Pastor Louis, can we just have uh, some few prayers? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Jesus. I will not take this grace for granted, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to, I just want to point out some things. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. The Bible says, They that need their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Right. What makes you to be strong and to do exploit is through the instrumentality of uh, the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to talk to God this morning. I'm going to pray, Father, anointing to do exploit. Anointing to do exploit. Release this anointing upon me now. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Anointing to do exploit. Anointing to do exploit. Lord, let it come upon me now. Anointing to do exploit. Release upon me now. Release upon me now. Anointing to do exploit. Release upon me. Release upon me now. Release upon me now. Release upon me now. Release upon me now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release upon me now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are praying. There is a dimension of anointing that takes a man from the wilderness. It takes a man out of the wilderness. There is a dimension of anointing that takes a man from the dungeon of his father's house. There is a dimension of anointing that takes a man from the roof of his father's house where they kept him. Hallelujah. This anointing is coming down here tonight. That everyone that has been locked up in the wilderness, that everyone that has been locked up in the dungeon of their father's house, that everyone that has been locked up in the roof of their father's house, and they are in Lagos, they are everywhere, but yet they are locked up in their father's house. Today, the anointing will bring you out. And I want you to talk to God wherever you are, all over the world, anointing to bring me out of the wilderness. I receive it now. I receive it now. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Anointing to move out of the wilderness. <laughs> Joseph was kept. David was, David was kept in the wilderness. The anointing brought him out. And, and David, David was kept in the wilderness. The anointing brought him out. Joseph was kept in the prison. The anointing fetched him out. I received the anointing to come out of the prison. I receive the anointing to come out of the dungeon of my father's house. I receive the anointing to come out of the wilderness. I receive the anointing to be repositioned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Lastly, I want us to pray. There's a dimension of power that anointing that makes you to be relevant all the days wow. of your life. A dimension of anointing that makes you to be relevant. David says that uh, Daniel was relevant. He was ever relevant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was relevant. Joseph was relevant. There was no other person in Egypt that can compete with him. There was no other person in Egypt that can compete. Even the king said, there is no other man that has the same spirit as him, this man. He said, there is no other person. They were forced to like him because an ordinary Egyptian does not like a shepherd. They hate relating with a shepherd, but they were forced to accept him. Hallelujah. They were forced to accept him. Lastly, I want you to pray. Anointed that will make me relevant all the days of my life. Drop upon me now. Drop upon me now. Begin to talk to God now. Begin to talk to God now. Anointed that will make me relevant all the days of my life. Drop upon me. In this program, drop upon me now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. And as we are praying, so shall it be. You will be relevant. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father. You, In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.
is getting deeper and deeper. Yes, sir. Daddy, God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. And the great men of God in the house, people of God all over the world, that which we have lost three generations away, by the reason of anointing today, the oil will travel three generations backward Amen. and get it back for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. say, my father, my father, my father, my father. What, I what I lost through my great-grandfather great that I am still looking for, still looking by, for. The by the anointing, I recover today. I recover today. Pray in the name of Jesus. That which I lost through my great grandfather by the anointing today. Oh Lord, I recover it. I receive it back. I recover it. I receive it back. I recover it. I receive it back. I receive it. I receive it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The day Samuel anointed Saul. So the first assignment he gave to him. Is go back to where your great grandmother was buried. Some people are waiting for you there. And they are telling you that what you lost. Today we get it back. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember that when Benjamin was to be given birth to, the mother died on the way. And when Samuel Benjamin was coming, the only thing the mother said is, Your name is Benoni. But the father said, No, it's Benjamin. Something was withheld from his destiny. And travel back after Benjamin. If they must get to the throne, what they took away from them must be given back to them. And Samuel said, go there. You will meet two men. They will tell you that which you are looking for is found. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. What I am looking for, looking for that will make me to ascend my throne. Ascend my throne. By the anointing, By the I receive it now. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. All over the world. That which my life is looking for. That which my life is looking for. By the anointing. By the anointing. By the anointing. By the anointing. I receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray Amen. all over the world. Tonight is your night of encounter. Amen. As we receive the oil today, what you lost many generations back, you will recover it back. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we are going to tell the Lord. The Bible says when Jehu was to be anointed, there were a group of captains here. But the man of God said, when you call one up, pour oil on him. It is the oil that makes him better than every other person. All over the world, the oil of God today will make you stand out Amen. in the company of a thousand. In the name of Jesus, Amen. say, my father, my father, my father, my father. By, the of the by the reason of the anointing, I stand out, I stand out. among my colleagues. In the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus. Today, I stand out. I stand out. I stand out. I stand out by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I stand out among my colleagues. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Jesus' name, we pray. Tonight, you are standing out. Tonight, you are standing tall. Amen. Tonight, you are standing tall. Amen. The oil of tonight will make you better than your colleagues. Amen. After this anointing, we are the same, no way for you.
seven doors are open for you there. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. Let's sing a song as we bring the bishop in a minute. It's not by power. It's not by might. By my spirit says It's not by power. It's not by might. By the spirit says Everybody say, this mountain must be removed. Oh, 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 this mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed. Bishop, what a mighty God we serve. What a night. What a day. What we are sharing today is a mystery. It's one of the mysteries of scriptures. It's a very powerful mystery. And one thing is that you can't doubt proof. See, you can't doubt proof. It's a fool that doubts proof. You see, the oil, the anointing oil, there is the anointing. There is the anointing of the spirit. Okay. Now, the anointing of the spirit is is, is the is the a divine empowerment of God to carry out His service. Luke chapter four verse eighteen, Jesus said, "The spirit of God is upon me because He has anointed me That's true. to preach the gospel to the poor." Mm. That is that is the anointing of God for service. There's an anointing for you know to heal the sick, to raise the dead. Then there is the anointing oil. Now you see, the anointing oil is an equipment to introduce God's power physically. You know, 